What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the official MDT 2022 full WWE action figure room tour. So it is officially that time of the year where we go through my entire MDT figure office, figure room, whatever the hell you guys want to call it. As you guys can see, it has grown exponentially since last year. I, I don't even think we had a lot of this. Maybe we had a little bit of this stuff, not completely here, but we have the shelf here with all the mock AEW figures on it. Some of them, are, I have one figure or a few figures that are tucked away that are not on display, or at least that, I don't even really call this a display. We'll get into all the different things, man. But you guys know how these videos work. We're going to run through every single aspect of the shelves, the display, the entire room. Some things have not changed and some things have changed and I've even added some shelves as you guys can see up here over on this side. We've added a few shelves to add to the room tour today. I'm very excited man. How we typically do it is we come through the door over there. I start in this corner. I go up and down every shelf we go and we just kind of explore the full room and show off every single aspect of the My Damn Toys figure office figure room again. I don't, I don't know what to call it. My damn office, I guess. I, I, don't, I don't know. But all those things being said, man, let's go ahead, take a personal dive. I'm going to come through that door and show you guys the perspective and everything as we go through the entire official room tour. So let's go ahead and hit it. All right, guys. So as you enter into the office, you will immediately notice the dog underneath the table. We'll work on that. But as we come into the room and we shut the door behind us, the first thing you will notice right here is just some lighting. All right, I got a little bit of a lighting fixture right here. I tried to put that over the arena over here and it did not work and it fell and it knocked over everything. And since that day, I haven't even attempted to do it again. But I want to improve the lighting in the arena. And that's kind of been the halt in the filming schedule a little bit there. But we're, we're working on it. We're getting better every day. I'm about to just forget the lighting and come back to it later on. We also have a poster board right there that does set up behind the stage right here. You guys will notice the arena is an absolute mess. I mean, the, the arena is a mess. It is an absolute mess. We'll get, into, we'll get into all the stuff. But that typically goes right here. But I had to remove that so that I could actually fix the shelves because we've changed them around a bunch. But right here is my figure closet. This is where all... All of my accessories go. Jesus Christ in heaven. If we open up the figure closet, this is where I keep all of my accessories. Lots of stuff in here, man. So this is how I have it organized. I also have a lot of mock figures in here, customs, things that I do not want to show off because they're spoilers and Easter eggs and stuff like that. So I can't do that. But so this one right here is like main weapons, like, you know, all the coffins, kendo sticks, sledgehammers, things of that nature. Right here is a continuation of that drawer. I don't know what's up with the focus, but I'm about to focus my ass up. This is that continued. Down here, we have all of my championship belts this this whole drawer is just filled to the rim with championship belts of every single sort that you could possibly imagine they, it, it, it is a, a lot of championship belts so championship belts that are not on display they are in this drawer down here we have all of my figure clothing that is not on display or being used at the time after we get done with that drawer we go down to this is like ring accessories things of that nature we go down this is my chairs my tables and my ladders so in here all of my still chairs in here all all of my ladders those are tables you dumb jackass and then on the bottom we have all of my ladders other stuff in here is play sets, you know, random things, wrestling, but I mean, there's all kinds of stuff in here, like, I mean, there's a Guitar Hero guitar for some reason, I don't know, I don't, I don't make the rules, I just break them. Kobe poster, of course, gotta shout out the GOAT, more stuff going on right here, which is stuff you can't see for a while, but maybe one day. At the top, more wrestling buddies, mock stuff, and that's, uh, on the left side there, I can't show you some of that. If we shut the door and we come out, you guys will notice that we have our AEW figure display pretty much going on, so this whole section right here is AEW mainly, but well, you guys can see this is like the tag team shelf. Santana and Ortiz, you got Jurassic Express, all those good stuff. You know, some repeats, some here and there. As we move up, you will get into Dustin, Sammy, Darby Allens, John Moxley's, MJF, and then we have Hangman. Then you go up into the Bucks. Some of these, like I don't have, for some reason, I have like four mock mats, but I didn't get a second loose mat. You'll see on the Vindication shelf over here, but as you guys can see, you got the Series 7, you got Lance Archer. Then as we move up, you got Sting, Wardlow, got all the Cody's all together, which looks look really nice in the Cassidy and then on the top we do have the Kenny Omega shelf so we got all the Kenny's right there some Mattel customs and then they feed into the unrivaled collection there and then you have the custom Bullet Club Kenny right there and then it feeds into the CM Punks and not every character 
is on their respective shelves. Like, I have some characters that are on the roster shelves, you know, any repeat stuff like that. I try to keep all the repeats together, like all characters with one, but then we also have some on the roster shelves, but there is the AEW and Rival kind of section right there. I would love to do more, but I really don't even have the room for them, which is why we have kept a lot of these mock, and uh, we've kind of, you know, built up that mock collection over there. And just above the AEW figure collection, guys, we get into some randos. Now, I'm going to go up there so you guys can kind of see them, or maybe you don't really care. I don't know. Maybe, I mean, I know some people just like to play this and just kind of check out the full collection in its entirety, which I really appreciate up there. We have the, I think that Series 1 of the Masters of the Universe figures completely mock. I don't know. Let me get up there. Shut the hell up. So, as you guys can see, we just have a bunch of random superstars here, and, you know, the figures are just together. Like, I try to keep all the figures together. Some of these are out of position, and some of them don't repeat. Like, towards the end there, you got a couple tag teams, Vince McMahon, just some random stuff. And then up here, we do have a lot of, like, singles guys, uh, besides Visser right there. So, I kind of have Viscera's all together there, but then you just have some randos again. Kind of just some more, I guess, more or less kind of rarer figures, but, you know, I just kind of, I gotta fill these shelves up, right? I don't want them empty, but, um, as we come up here, you guys will see we do have the Masters of the Universe in, you know, John Cena, Macho Man, Roman Reigns, and Rey Mysterio, so I wanted to fill up the collection there. There's the shot of the Kennys and the CM Punks again. Really nice, like that shelf. I have a ton of mock Kennys, but, uh, you know, it's just so hard. I, I don't know, man. The AEW figure collection, it kind of changes by the day, but I'd love to get more Kennys. Now we're gonna get into this section of the room, which is actually my favorite. I gotta fix those Cenas before I show them off, but this is probably my favorite section of the room, but I don't uh, Let's just shut the hell up and get to it. We're, we're gonna break down all these shelves. So on this table, we actually just have a bunch of random stuff. This is like mainly supplies, acetone, paint brushes, scissors, all those different things. And then those Cena boxes are actually how I transport figures around the room. So if I'm trying to transport these Kevin Owens to the other side of the room, I'll fill up those boxes and carry them and it's just a lot easier process. So that's what those are for. So starting up in the corner, so you guys can see the AEW figures are right there. So if you go up into this corner, you guys will see the Ultimate Warriors. Still a ton of Warriors to get. One of those guys that every single year I say, I want to expand the Warriors. I want to expand the Warriors. And then I just, I just don't. It's just not priority for me. So it kind of goes on the back burner. And I just need a lot larger room, man. Because I mean, what? I get more Warriors than what? I don't have any other room. So it's just one of those things. Once we get like a bigger house, we get the bigger basement. We get the bigger room in general for all this stuff. I will most likely get a lot more of these figures that I'm searching for. But there's Mr. T. You got a couple SDCC exclusives. You have the Gold Dust. And then you have the R-Truths in the back over there. As we move down from the R-Truths, here's the Goldbergs. I think this is every Elite Goldberg that we've seen so far from Mattel. Every, you know, Elite 74, the two-pack, the entrance grates, all those different ones, main event ring, all that good stuff. We move into the Mark Henrys, which used to be such a chore, man. He used to fall just religiously, man. He used to fall and knock over my whole collection. We've come a long way from that, haven't we, Mark? He used to just knock over the full collection in one fall. Now we'd have to do quite a bit of damage, but he has come a long way. We also have a couple Sergeant Slaughters right here. Plenty more that I could get, but I don't have those, so I just kind of stuck those in that spot. We have the full Rey Mysterio shelf, so this one goes all the way front to the back over here. I wish I could find a better place for these. I'd really like to have them in a more display. Like, when you have, like, two or three guys together, it's not as big of a deal to me, but when you have a lot of guys like this, I'd like to showcase them more. So Rey Mysterio, we could find a better spot. I'm actually looking at a better spot right now, but maybe we could discuss that. But here's all the different rays. Wish I could get more of that Mysterio ray. But as you guys can see, it's just all the different rays. Also, apologize for the lighting in this area. We come down, more Macho Men, guy that I would love to collect more of, but it's just not, you know, at this juncture. Same same reason as Warrior, man. Just don't have a lot of room for those. But here is one that's just a, a crazy one for the collection. A ton of Drew McIntyres. Like, like eight of them. I have like nine Drew McIntyre elites, and they're what? They're all virtually the same, so it's pretty insanity. In the back, you got a little Gable and Jason Jordan action. I don't know why the camera's being such a piece of shish this morning. Go down a row. You have the Trash Corbins, the Shinsuke Nakamura's. Got the Samoa Joe's. Tons of Samoa Joe back there. You know, we've gotten different variants, different colors, and different things like that. Some of these you don't even realize you have that many of until I make this video year to year. But if we continue down, you guys will see the Brock Lesnar collection. You got a few different Brock Lesnars in here, different looks of that nature. Got the Shane McMahons, and then you have the Stings back there. I'm about to throw this damn camera out the freaking window. It's never done this to me before. I don't know what's going on. But on the bottom, we do finish it up with Matt Hardy. So yeah, you have the Unrivaled at the front, and then it just goes into all the different Mattel Elite mats, Epic Moments Elite 58, you know, the ring set exclusives, all those different things. You got the two packs in the back there. I guess it's just the lighting or something, because Jesus, man, it's it's very hazy, and it's not wanting to focus, and I'm about to focus my face off. If you go up here to the top, man, this is where the John Cena collection resides, my favorite part of my entire collection, one that we will explore 
expand on exponentially eventually, but this is what we have so far. So this is basically kind of like a timeline from the beginning of his career all through the different looks of John Cena here as we go through. Sorry, trying to struggle here because it's at the top, but I'm trying to give you a look at every single one. So uh, yeah, just some of my favorite looks and some of the different looks he's rocked. I tried to get every single shirt, every look that I wanted. Some of them are defining moments, you know, so the ones that are shirtless are typically like defining moments that I wanted to highlight on the shelf. And they're supposed to have championship belts, but some of them do not. So I do apologize for that, but I tried to do that. You got all the breast cancer awareness attires, all the shirts and stuff we have not gotten from Mattel. All have been accounted for, all have been there. I'm trying to work on getting like variants and, you know, different shorts combinations for the different shirts and stuff like that. So that will be something that we get to eventually. But this is all of our John Cena's, you know, all the different colors of the rainbow. You got the MDT shape is here version. You have the Lance Catamaran. You got the new, you know, Jacob Toretto. And then you have the Ghostbusters. And this is actually an armband that I caught at an actual WWE event. It was SmackDown Live, second row. Caught that. Had to had to skin a nine-year-old for that. It's just a joke, but it really happened. If we go below that, you guys will see. This is something I got sent to me from one of my top fans, Brad. As funny as that is. But it's actually a, like, lantern that has John Cena's face in it. My boy Rodney sent me this custom pop and this Randy Orton pop right here. And then you have the whole Randy Orton collection and shelf. So all the different Ortons we've got. Some are customs. Some are ones that we've seen from Mattel. And some that I wish we would get from Mattel that we have not. You got WrestleMania 31. You got Payback and stuff like that that I'd love to see. But you guys can see that it goes all the way back. All the way to some of his first looks. So Randy Orton's looking pretty nice up here. Kind of crazy when you see just all the different trunks up next to each other. But those are two of my favorite wrestlers of all time. John Cena is my goat. And then Randy Orton's right behind that. So I wanted my, my favorite guys right here at the top. If we go below that, guys, we do have a new section. So this used to be all Triple H, but we did move the Triple H's. So now we have our Daniel Bryan collection. We have our Dean Ambrose collection, or I guess Moxley now, right? But the Moxes are not here. They're in the AEW figures. Then we also have our Sami Zayn's. And then at the end of this shelf, we do have our Bret Hart's. So this is actually a new shelf that I set up just recently. So, yeah, I had to find a spot for them. I didn't want a whole naked shelf, so I went ahead and, you know, expanded upon that. And you guys will notice that that shelf down there is completely empty. That is where those figures used to be, but it was really hard to see them and get to them, so I decided to move all of the stuff around. As we move down, you guys will see Mustafa Ali. you got Ricochet. You have your Aleister Black slash Malachi Blacks. I think we have seven of those or so. Maybe another one on the Vindication shelf. We then go into Tommaso Ciampa. Then we got Undisputed Era with Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly. Adam Cole, Roderick Strong, all the way up till Eddie Guerrero over there. Again, I'm blocking all the lighting, so I apologize for the terrible lighting. Need to get like a lighting attachment to my phone or something. Then below that shelf, we get into the Kevin Owens. So we have all the different Kevin Owens looks over the years from Mattel. A lot of customs coming through here. So you got all the different KOs all the way up until modern day. Jesus Christ, there's got to be a better way to film this ish. But you guys can see, it goes all the way to the front there. And then on the bottom shelf, you have a bunch of uh, main roster slash recently cut and then customs and like there's like my makeshift mason t-bar and you just have a bunch of random guys down here eddie guerrero couldn't fit it on his, on his own shelf so some of this stuff's just completely random or guys that just got recently let go and you know stuff like that so this shelf's a bit random then as we go from the john cena's on the front wall then you go to the right wall where you have the big dog roman reigns at the top so you have all the different roman reigns looks then at the end you get a bunch of like different customs and like pick fed fantasy style attires there you got the white you got you know the bloodline romans we've made and things of that nature just below that, you have the Uso, so I want to keep the bloodline all together. And then after that, you do have Stone Cold Steve Austin, another one of my favorites of all time. So you have all sorts of different elites and looks of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Some of these are a way, if you see a bunch of repeats of the same figure that have no differences in them whatsoever, they're kind of a custom and waiting process this is kind of how I address it. So you have all the Austins leading up to the Usos. Below that, you have the Rowdy Roddy Pipers, which is a new look. We just recently moved him here. You got the HBK slash Shawn Michaels, a guy that we expanded on a little bit this year i'd like to expand some more and get some of those that i haven't seen just yet but that is where he goes this used to be where the rock was but we moved him then we get into the batistas got a bunch of blue tistas elite 72 hall of champions and stuff like that love the batista shelf can't wait to add the ultimate edition up here below that you have razor ramon slash scott hall you have the big show shelf right here you have a little bitty john morrison section right before the miz and then we get into kurt angles so all the different kurt angles and some customs in there below that you have cedric alexander you have the Braun 
Braun Strowman section, which I actually kind of want to get a few more Braun Strowmans, which is insane, but you know, I want to get more of the double jointed arm shirtless look right there with the bald and beard. And then we have another one of my favorites. We got Chris Jericho here. So all his AEW figures and his elites are all together just because I wanted to kind of, you know, keep Chris Jericho with the long flowing movement of the collection there. So you have some, a lot of customs all the way back from debut up till current day with AEW. So you have a lot of beautiful looking custom Chris Jericho's in here. And then just below that, we have the Kofi Kingston, which I turned so many into customs. I've lost a lot over the years, even though he still has a, de you know, a decent little amount here. Then it goes into the Big E's and then into the Xavier Woods. So I keep all of New Day together right here on one shelf. And then we have the Edges at the end, which is another guy that I'd love to collect more of. I love Edge. Great looking figures. And I'm sure we have more to come. I think he's supposed to be, you know, we have the Legends figure coming out, the Chase Legends figure. And then we have Elite 94, I think, has Edge in it. So that'll be really nice to see. And hopefully he'll be the Chase. We'll have to see. But I'm hoping for that WrestleMania gear in white. All right, guys. So that was that full section over there. That entire section over there. Now, for the table, I mean, not much to say. You guys have already seen this very neat and, and pretty much set up professionally. You know, you've seen it. You've seen it to that aspect. I, I love the pink lighting, by the way. It kind of gives it a nice aura around the arena. But it's a mess right now. We're in the process of still cleaning up. You have Halloween figures, crowd members. These belt lots I'm probably going to list on eBay soon. There's a bunch of extra belts that I wanted to get rid of. And then in the middle right here, you guys will see this Ring Giants John Cena. And 10 mock John Cena elites as well as a ton of Ultimate Edition John Cena. Is because you guys know that I'm going for every look of John Cena that he's ever worn. So we got to get a ton, and I mean a ton, of not only Ultimate Edition John Cena's, but also the regular John Cena Elites. That's the top picks John Cena Elite. So we got to get a lot of those, you know, different hats, things of that nature. So we got to get all those looks. And here's all the accessories, hats, heads, and custom style stuff that we got to get going. This I got on Facebook Garage Sale for like 10 bucks. So I had to take that, like, shipped and all. I said, yeah, I'm, I'm taking that as the big Cena mark that I am. I had to go ahead and grab that. I have the AEW ring set up. None of this is really formal. I mean, look at my figure over here. That's my figure chilling on the commentary table. So that's about it. That's what we got. But this is the massive John Cena project. This is the kind of the results so far. Like 10 ultimates, 10 elites, and we're constantly growing the accessories for customs and stuff. Just beyond this, I mean, you have like some mock UFC figures. You have some figure weapons down there, some randomness. You got some vehicles over there in the corner. You have mock UFC set, that little, you know, Bratz mobile there, lowrider, another car over there, my limo somewhere. And then over here, we have my mock collection. So huge shout out to my man Rob for the pickup on the Defining Moments Chris Jericho. One of my favorite Mattel elites they ever made, and so he sent me a mock one. One of my first mock figures ever from Mattel, so that's beautiful. These mock figures right here, I really don't know what to do with. I could open them at any day. I just, I don't, I don't know why I haven't. You have some Ultimate Edition Stone Colds. There's one more right here that's also mock. Then we just have my mock AEW collection. You got all the different mock AEW figures, the Amazon exclusives. You have, you know, the two packs. You got the AEW Unrivaled action ring UK exclusive. It's it's more like UK exclusive because it's on ringside and all these other places. But you have series one through what, six or something. I'm still haven't gotten seven just yet. Kind of waiting on that just because I didn't really like the set that much. But you have all the two packs. You got the Jurassic Express two pack TNT Champion Cody custom Malachi Black at the top. So this is my whole mock collection. I do have a one of 1000 MJF that is mock and then I have the little bit of the bubbly Jericho and the ringside exclusive ring with Kenny Omega but that's underneath the table over here. Yeah don't ask me why. It's just kind of put up there. I didn't have any room for them and I didn't want them like exposed over here and there wasn't a big shout for them so I just kind of tucked them under the table there. But after the mock AEW collection you guys will see I have, I have my real replica WWE spinner autographed by Jeff Hardy up there. Met him a few years ago and he signed that for me. I have my Finn Balor side plate universal championship my world heavyweight championship that is actually autographed by Edge but that is hidden behind all these mock figures and then we have my WWF championship so some of my favorite title belts ever not the not the universal title that was actually a Christmas present so I just put that up there and then uh, we have this other massive wall of figures that we're going to go through so before we do that before we get into the figures on the wall let's go ahead and just get into this right here here's my GM's office that's a total wreck should have set that up but then we have my backstage display and then we have the filming station so this is where I do all my filming for different videos, reviews, all that stuff goes here. You got all my lamps. You have my mic over there. You have everything going on, so everything's good to go, man. You guys can see here, this is where we usually shoot, right? You got all the background imagery and things of that nature. I wanted my review station to have a little touch of, you know, my own personal style, so that's why you have, like, the chair of my logo. You have the, you know, the different logos from the stage sets and stuff. Over here, just some random fodder. We have my Jax RVD. I think that was, like, an ECW DVD exclusive or something figure. Over here, we have my 
my baggies full of accessories, heads, ultimate edition accessories, interchangeable parts, all kinds of stuff. AEW, like there's so much stuff over there, but I don't want to get into that right now. We also have this shelf. Now this shelf's really cool. This is actually the shelf that has all of my like fan sent little figures. Not like WWE figures. I've gotten some WWE figures and stuff, but like if you sent me a custom or something cool, you know, little knickknack figures and stuff like that. I always put these over here. So that's this shelf right here. The other day, this shelf actually fell, knocked all of this over, knocked all this over. It was a huge mess, but I did rehang it last night. Hopefully, it does not fall. But, you know, before we get into this big wall, I did want to cover that shelf. So that's kind of the MDT fan shelf. As you guys can see, I also have it, you know, zebra plated because, I, I mean, right, it's got to be zebra plated. But now let's go ahead and get into this long, big section of wall with, uh, you know, the different things all over it. So let's go ahead and get into these shelves. So if we start off at the top left corner of the room guys are up by the championship belts you guys will see all of the AJ Styles so this is where his new home is there's an actual little TNA AJ Styles flag behind here if you if you guys can kind of see it's like blue and, and white there I used to have it on full display but I, I guess since that flag's over here I wanted to put AJ Styles over here a guy I'd love to collect more of but I don't like the formula that they give AJ Styles so I have you know I haven't really been one to collect his figures I like AJ Styles a lot but his figures kind of you know put me off just because they're not that accurate to me so yeah that's that's that if we go below him guys we do have the brand new triple h display so this is featuring all the different triple h's lots of room for customs and different trunks so i'm trying to get every you know pair of trunks is, that he's ever worn in figure form you know we got some more triple h's coming like the legends exclusive and stuff like that so those will also go up here but you guys can see all the different colored trunks got different looks of them over the years different you know handlebar mustaches and stuff still waiting on like a good 0405 era of triple h elite we've gotten some that are similar or close but not you know quite from mattel we got the double jointed arms and the nice head sculpt etc that would be nice. But then we go into, you know, later career Triple H, into his bald slash shaped head look, and then all the way up to a pretty much current day in the suit and tie with the beard. And we have a little bit of growing room right here, so that's always nice. Just below Triple H, guys, we do get into the Rock collection. So it starts off with Rocky Maivia back there, and then it gets into, you know, just the same thing. Everybody's kind of the same way. They start with, like, kind of like what they look like on their debut or close to their debut, and then it goes through the timeline all the way up to current day. It's kind of how I've set my collection up, so that's kind of what we got going on here then it goes all the way up to the ultimate edition which i know the ultimate edition will probably be somewhere in this area over here but yeah i, I just have that one as the most recent then it goes into the dolph ziggler collection one of my favorite parts of the collection over here I'm trying to get out of the way with the shadows because i think that's what messes up the camera focus tons of dolph ziggler customs and different colored tights and stuff like that so you got different stripes and attires and fix-ups and things like that he's one of my favorites and so i got this beautiful steel in the show plaque where he cashed in on alberto del rio and it is autographed right there. I also have this steel on the show sign up here. And over here, I have a ring-worn hoodie autographed, as you guys can see up here. Hell in a Cell 2015 ring-worn hoodie. So I got that. That's his official hoodie autograph word. There's a picture of him wearing it right there. And I'll cover this side when we walk over there. So I want to stick to this side before I walk over there and knock all this bull crap over. But after the Dolph Zigglers and, uh, and you know, underneath the rocks over here, we do have the Seth Rollins. So, you know, you got NXT Rollins into Shield, into Singles Run. And you got all his different gear. So you got the white gear. And then it goes through all the different years and different fix-ups and head swaps and stuff. So you guys can see Elite 52 into Elite 57. You got the SummerSlam figure. And again, you'll see a lot of repeats of the same figure, but I love Seth Rollins. I love collecting his figures. So you'll see different fix-ups, different head swaps, different, you know, figures kind of put together to get different looks. And it goes on down. You got plenty of customs in here, like I said. Some are one-of-one slash fantasy attires, and then some are different. And uh, we will get into the other side in just a moment, but I do want to go to the bottom shelf, which will be the Finn Balor's, which is also one of my favorites. So another guy that I love is going to be Finn Balor. So you got some Finn Balor slash Devitts over here, and then they get into the non-demon attires right here. So you got all the colors of the rainbow, right? You got the grays, the whites, the reds, the blues, green. You got some fantasy gears in here. You got the switch up with the white kick pads, and you got the leather jacket. Some of these fix-ups are just freaking beautiful. I love them. Then you get into the Elite 82s and the fix-ups and stuff. Plenty of those go around. So another one of my favorite guys to collect is Finn Balor, one of my favorite talents on the main roster, like Rollins. And then after the non-demons, you get into the demons. So we have all the Mattel demons, some custom, some fantasy again. In. Not a lot of those just, not a lot of those we have anymore. So a lot of these are just Mattels or customs of ones that we never got from Mattel. Then you have some debits and things like that going down the line there. Sorry for the terrible angles and stuff like that. I'll have to work on that. Need to get a better camera and like holder, but now I can flip over to the other side so we get a better look at the full shelf. So on the other side of Ziggler, you do get into the Undertakers right here. So you guys can see all the different Undertaker figures going all the way up. And then we end the shelf off with the, you know, the three faces of Foley. So all the different Foley characters right there are missing a few but we do have a lot of those locked down got all the takers there very dark area over here you know blacks and 
purples and stuff. Pick back up where Seth Rollins left off over there. You got, um, yeah, you know, just fancy fix-ups, customs, things of that nature. You got the Punisher gear, the Buzz Lightyear Seth Rollins. Then you got the Elite 86 figure that I have a ton of. Fan takeover figure. And then it goes into the Fiend slash Bray Wyatt's. Would like to have more of those, honestly. Figures dropping like flies. Then you get into the Bobby Lashley, little small Bobby Lashley section over there. And then on this bottom shelf, we come back. We do have the Devitts again. So you get all the Prince Devitt looks right there. Anti-Venom, Venom, some fantasy gears, a little promo gear, Finn Balor. And then you have like some, you know, main roster, like, you know, then we get into the main roster guys that are kind of active. That way I can easily access them on this bottom shelf right here near the filming area. That's why this is set up this way. So you have the kind of the current roster a little bit. Some guys mixed in there just so they're easily available if they're not available at other parts of the room that are easily accessible. That's how that works. There's another kind of shot at the fan shelf. And then as we go over here in the top right portion, you do have the Jeff Hardy collection. So here's all the Jeff Hardys. You got ringside exclusives, Elite 75, Survivor Series. You got all the different ones. Tons of fix-ups, switches, swappages. You guys know the verbiage. And then you got, you know, plenty of different, you know, looks. So I try to switch up something, you know, try to switch a head sculpt, something like that. That way it makes the figure a little bit different than how we got it. And you can make some really cool fix-ups and, and make some really cool things. Look, you got Willow, Punisher Jeff, the kind of clown Jeff, those multi-two packs there. You got the Ultimate Edition. Then it finishes off with Lita. And then just above Taker, we have to get into Kane, right? So we are missing a few Kanes here, but it's a little decent Kane collection right here. I would love to see the ringset exclusive here. I would like to see more of the different variations of the mask, different customs and stuff, but it's not something that we may not get from Mattel before it's all said and done. We may have every look of Kane, so we'll have to see. But after that, you have Gargano, and then you have a small little Hulk Hogan section that I'm trying to grow. I want to grow that one pretty big, but it's one of those similar to Macho Man and Ultimate Warrior, you know? Some, somebody that I'd love to have more of, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So after that wall, we get into my Retro's Mock Collection, kind of. And I don't have every single one, but I got a lot of these from Ringside Collectibles, and I didn't ever want to open them. I really just wanted to show them off and hang them all up. And I am missing quite a few. I think I'm missing like 10, maybe, maybe 12, maybe a little less than that. But this is kind of what I have going on here. That right there really pisses me off how there's a gap right there. I, I can't stand that, but I did have to move some around. Some of these actually go for a pretty penny. Some of them are in Defender. Some aren't. That also bothers me, but, you know, what are you gonna do? That's kind of where we are at this juncture, but there's a nice retro collection, and then on this wall you do, you do have the MDT flag over there. You have my Zack Ryder t-shirt autographed by him. He sent that to me personally. We have the John Cena autograph there framed. We have a Ke Kevin Steen figure, a Kurt Angle figure that has an inside joke from me and my brother. A calendar. We have these little mini figurines that Mattel sent me. We have our Maker collection Elite poster, and that's pretty much that whole wall over there. Also, forgot to mention the giant RKO blanket right there that hangs up. And then we do have these shelves to get through, and I do want to show off this little section right here. So, underneath the filming section, there's actually a bunch of fodder boxes under here. So, all those boxes, there's like five or six boxes that are all full of WWE fodder or figure fodder. But right here, we have a really cool section. So, we have my custom. If you guys didn't know, I love George Washington. So, I have a custom elite George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, and Teddy Roosevelt. And then we also have this card over here from Long Time ago, man. I'm talking a long time ago. I want to say it's near 100 years old or it's almost 100 year old, years old. You have the George Washington card here. It says $40, but that's absolutely a steal. If you can find that thing in good condition, it can go for, for a ton of money. So we do have that. I wanted to put that on display next to my George Washington figure. If you guys didn't know, I have a tattoo with George Washington. But then you have some little mini figures. You got some different custom. You got the MDT Battle Royal Championship, the Horror Championship. You have my 100,000 subscriber plaque. And you have my wife's figure. And then you have a picture of me, my brother, meeting Jeff Hardy back there where I got the spinner autographed and then we have the Alley Cadness Memorial Battle Royal Trophy, RIP to the Goat Cat. After that we also have my dual monitor set up here. We have a work in progress Danhausen. We have pretty much every women's figure that I have along with some Vegeta figures over here because I love Vegeta, probably my favorite anime character of all time. But here's the women's collection if you guys are women's figures collectors or, or specialize in that area here. Pretty much all the women's figures. Some of them I do have repeats which are actually down in a box down there which I'll show in just a moment. But here's the whole women's figure section right here. Try to keep that up to date as much as possible. Below that, we have the Vindication roster shelf, which does have Kenny Omega and the Elite kind of leading it off right there. You got Bullet Club. You got Bullet Club with Kenny, Cody, and the Bucks. You got the Wyatt Colt coming up. AJ Styles is not on the shelf, but he is the Revolutionary Champion. You got Shinsuke, Adam Cole, you know, just the whole Vindication pick fed roster there. And then on the bottom, we do have the MDT Live shelf, which I just kind of kept those RVDs together because I don't really have a spot for them. Didn't want them in a loose box, which I'll get into in just a moment, but here is 
is the MDT live shelf. So you'll see some random AEW figures and stuff on these shelves. But, uh, you know, this is the roster shelf, so I want to keep all these guys together. So you have Kevin Owens, Extreme Champion. You have Roman Reigns, MDT Champion. You got the Usos, World Tag Champions. Then you have Jack Swagger as the U.S. Champion still. I mean, these guys have been reigning forever. There's my roster shelves there. And that leads us to the beginning of the room, man. That's, that's pretty much where the room picks up. And then if you go under the table, so this is where the figure arena is. If you go under there, you will see my paint box. We have the thinking outside the box box. This is my box full of John Cena Elite, so I think there's like 50 or 60 in here. I think my total collection of John Cena figures is like 105 John Cena Elites and Ultimates, I guess, if you count those together, it's like 110 or something. You have this box of loose WWE Elites. This is like broken basics or figures that don't have a lot of parts on them. Same thing right here. This is the thinking outside the box box, so you have a bunch of Elites that don't have parts or things like that. And then you have my paint box right there with all my different paints in it that I use to customize. And then there's the vindication ring that's actually like broken because my dog likes to act like a crazy person and bark at people through this window and she has broken it. So I think that's pretty much it. I think that wraps up the full room. I think we have gone through every single detail of this room. It's almost figure wall to wall. There's literally figures wall to wall just about. But I hope you guys enjoyed the full room collection and room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know all your thoughts down below. What's your favorite shelf or what do you think of my collection? Do you think I'm utterly insane? I I think it's the most insane collection it may not be the best collection or the greatest collection ever but i think it's probably the most insane like the just level of what the hell are you doing brad yeah we're, we're up there at least hopefully right thank you guys for watching hope you guys did enjoy let me know down below what you thought of the collection the room you like the updates and improvements with the shelves cannot wait to get you know uh, a bigger room to to display and because i don't really have any more room right and we continue to get figures on the daily so thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel 2022 is going to be an explosive year for the channel can't wait for it but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video don't cross the line like me when i decided to buy all these figures what are you doing bro what are you doing